beautiful and talented actress known for many important roles. Most importantly, she gave me the snake mug. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Please welcome the beautiful Mary McCormack, everybody. Mary McCormack. It's been what's, broken a couple of times. But what's its fate? What will happen to it? It's coming with me. Really? Yes, I'm going to keep it. Right. And I'll, and I'll drink from it heartily as I'm going to walk the earth solving crimes. Oh, you are? And people will know as I come into town that right, criminals are no your... longer safe. Right. They'll like, hear the rattle. That's right. They'll be like, here he oh, comes no. now. Yeah. We can't because oh. all criminals talk like this. <laughs> they do. They're sort of yeah. troll-like. Yeah. Yeah. Here he um, comes now with the snake mug. I love that mug. It's good. Yeah, you can not accept a mug from anyone else anymore, I don't think. Like, if you were to do another show, or if you were to, you know, have... After your crime-solving stint... Yeah. Don't take a mug from anyone else, because I'll take have to a come mug up with it. This is part of me, like my robot, like my fake horse. This is my well, thing. you can't bring everything. <laughs> oh, no, no, these uh, things are all coming with me. <laughs> Maybe even the rhino. And they might help with the solving yeah. the crimes. Yeah, I'll go, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, there you are, then. <laughs> I think that Don Cheadle's crazy not to be getting the colonoscopy, huh? Have you had it? Of course. Yeah. And I love a colonoscopy because that drug. Oh my. You're God. absolutely right. Here's the problem with the drug, though, because it's the Michael Jackson drug. Yeah. No, it's yeah, that yeah, great yeah, yeah, yeah. drug that he was so into. Yeah, no. Sorry. Well. Yeah, no, well, no, it's, it's what it was. But Pro propofol. It, propofol. Yeah. It doesn't last long. Like, you're like, no. this is amazing. No wonder he was on. Like, <laughs> like you don't. Yeah, but you, the thing it's, is, the ride is so short. It is. But I had never. I had taken a lot of drugs in my life, but yeah. I've never had them, you know, legally administered by professionals. Right. It's fun. And I have. Wow. Because if you've had surgery, you like it. Because I love difference. an anesthesiologist. They, they are. are. And uh, but they they're coming off it, you know. I because when I came off, you come off the legal drugs, you're like, oh. Oh, right. oh, I feel so bad. You come off right. that one, you're like, hey, what's up? No time. Totally. Yeah. <laughs> you walk a little different. Sure, but yeah. that's the colonoscopy. Yeah, that's I know. That's what I mean. Yeah. No, that's what I mean. Oh. No, it's all right. Ooh. Keep up. <laughs> yeah, I can. Uh, I see you've got Blondie. I love chest. what's Debbie Harry, right? Blondie. Well, Debbie Harry, yes. Yeah, I don't want to be yeah, annoying. Yeah, I know, fine. It's not. It's not I love her. Who's the doctor? Is my, am I mic right there? I'm being annoying. Um, yeah, I think she's amazing, and she still rocks it. She's still yeah, so yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I know. I had. She was my uh, first sexual fantasy. Really? <laughs> hard right? to, hard but, to why glass? would that? Wait, wait. Yeah, I, I mean. Like, oh, ha, ha, Craig, what an unusual choice. <laughs> she was on fire. Yeah, my. And she daughter. is on fire still. She's yes. Fire. Anyway. Yeah. I love her. Do you know her? No. I'd love to. Know. I'd love to know her. Do you have any tattoos? I have, oh. What? No, I'm going to say no. Because <laughs> I want to get it removed. I have a tattoo on my ankle. Why did you ask that? I just suddenly thought, you, do you have any? Because oh. I haven't seen you for a while. No, I, I didn't do it recently. I'm not an idiot. <laughs> right, but I'm a girl. I'm not going to be all inking up at, like, my age. What, what are you talking about? You're 23. No, I was 23 when I got it. Really? That's how old I was. Oh. That's when your girl does stuff like Well, that's weird, because I tiny, knew you tiny. after you were 23, and I don't remember it. Well, <laughs> it's on my ankle. I'm sure I saw that. I probably did. <laughs> you probably did. It's on my ankle, and it's Lucky Charms, the cereal. Lucky, Lucky you have yeah. cereal? Yeah. On your ankles? Mm -hmm. They're after me, Lucky Charms? Yeah, I'm magically delicious. <laughs> oh, you're magically delicious, of course. No, we I have it on my ankle. We worked together when... That's how what, we met. Wow, well, what, it, would it be, like, 15 I, years ago? A long time. I mean, yeah. I was 28 or something, young. Yeah, I was, I was, oof. <laughs> Age is not for sissies, right? Oh, wow, no, I no, know. No, yeah, we it's met then, like, and it was great. You're great. You're great. I don't want you to go. I know I'm not I'm supposed not to. I'm not going anywhere. I'm still doing this job. Like, whenever you finish a movie, I don't like, like do you say, oh, I don't, that's it, I don't want you to stop but doing this just, movie? You well, say? it's sad for late night, because you're the best thing on it, and it's sad. <laughs> No, no, no. 
I watched you um, talk about your dad after he passed away. Oh, yeah, I've never watched Have that. Have you guys seen that? No, no, I never so watched that. It's so beautiful. It's mm. so amazing that you did the monologue. You just said, forget it. I, I don't I want to talk about anything else. I want to talk about my dad. I was numb. I didn't it know what to so do. Beautiful. My dad but died. But to be able to speak like that when your heart was broken, it's gorgeous. Oh, yeah. Great. Anyway, <laughs> we can, I, I won't go on it. How did you I won't that? go on it. I think that was my dad. <laughs> Or Debbie Harry. Oh, shut up, Greg. <laughs> Get on with the show. <clears throat> yeah. Anyway. No, it's all right. I won't go on and on. Hey, do you ever go back to New Mexico? Uh, I haven't been back. They've got great meth. Yeah, that's the meth capital of the world. Apparently, that's what yeah. they say. No. No, I haven't been back. Those kids keep me busy. I have three daughters now. I know. That's a lot of daughters. That's a lot of daughters. I have two sons. I know. Perhaps we could somehow. Marry them up. Marry them together. Wouldn't that be and nice? It would be lovely. I would love to what see age are they? I, I have a 10, a 7, and a 3. I've got a 13 and a 4 almost. Yeah, we could do that. Yeah. <laughs> 4 and the 3 and the 13 and yeah, the 10. Yeah, yeah, put them together. 7 then. might be. She's not. Mine isn't. Well, panning, well. panning out. Well, you know, you got an extra one and maybe. The last one's worse than the others, though. She's, I think they get meaner as they come. <laughs> The first one's so sweet. It's like it. it it's that's it how they get you, though. You. Yeah, that's like, how they get you. The first you get your first kid, they're like, oh. yeah, yeah. They're like, this is easy. Sweet. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. They're so obedient. And the last one, she literally the other day came in and said, she's three, so she's sometimes in diapers. And she said to my seven-year-old, she just came in the room, and this was her line. She went, "You thinking what I'm thinking?" <laughs> I was like, well, I think I'm about to die. <laughs> like, that's so, they're gonna kill me. They're gonna, like, Lyle and Eric Menendez me. That's what, that's, <laughs> no. that's what that is. No. That can't be anything good. Do you, ever, do you ever think that? I think every parent thinks that when you've got a baby and you can't sleep and you're all tweaked out and the baby's going crazy and you think, is my baby the Antichrist? Yeah. <laughs> Did you ever think that? Yeah, possessed. Yeah, I think that every like, baby thinks that. What if I got the that. broken one? Yeah. yeah, yeah, you just, when you, like, when the baby's going, ah, you yeah. think, this is Damien, this yeah. is Damien. <laughs> She's like that. No, it's, just, yeah, it's no. everybody thinks it's just lack of sleep. You, you, you. No, she doesn't. She, I think it's because she has older siblings. She hangs out with older people, so she says stuff that's not appropriate for her height or. <laughs> hey, come on now. Short, short people can say anything they like. <laughs> she shouldn't. She's really obnoxious. Hey, do you ever do a Beckett play? No, I never have. Mm. No, and I think I, I don't know if it's Godot or Godot. I think it's I Godot. I think. I think it's Godot. Know, yeah. Godot. I don't know. He hasn't even had a class. I'm sure the internet will let us know though. <laughs> yeah. And they're never wrong. God. Are you on the Tweety? You know, I w am, but right. I really never tweet. Mm. I come and go with it. Yeah, I was for a while, and then I never, I just, I, I found myself, like, I can barely get a shower with those kids, and I thought, yeah. what am I doing writing about, like, also, I have such a, I have, when people start to tweet about the weather or what they, where they ate. And what I like, love is, is if people uh, take a photograph of, of their, their lunch food, yeah, and then tweet that. it. That's it's like, just a little navel gazing. Can't get enough of that. Feels a little navel, <laughs> navel gazing. Stupid. Little. I mean, I like when comedians, when funny people do it. You guys, when funny people, I mean, I follow like Steve Martin and Sarah Silverman. Do you know who's really funny? Michael Ian Black. Oh, really? Oh, I'll do my. that. He, he says yeah. things and you're like, Michael, you, oh, you, oh, no, you can't. <laughs> Very, very. Yeah. Very. All right. I'll follow that. Yeah, I yeah, like that. Him, yeah. It's just that the other stuff, like, hey, you know, when people are like making dinner plans, like, would love to see you, like celebrities making dinner plans with each other. Well, celebrities have got to eat, you Mary. Know, you could email though. They could email. They're saying to the world, I'm famous and I know famous people. Yeah, yeah. Well. <laughs> Knock it off. Yeah, you're right. No, um, you can pick up the phone. Yeah. Knock it off, famous people. You're cluttering up Twitter for the rest of us. <laughs> Yeah. I'm in a bad mood. Yeah, you're cranky. <laughs> I'm cranky. Oh. I don't know. A lot of, I don't know. I'm sort of cranky. You're a little bit cranky. You know, I, um, I pl um, orally pleased Don Cheadle this week. I'm on House of Lies with him. I'm not allowed to say what I was going to say. They told me I couldn't say that. You, I, or, I ple pleasured him orally. You pleasured him by oh. telling him a... By telling yes, him a story? An old, an old folk tale, no. Oh, no, no you, with my mouth. And really? And, <laughs> Not really. Is this in the show or yes, is this just no, like you guys like I were. I stopped by. All right, okay. Yeah. I skipped that Twitter nonsense it, right. and just go right in for orally pleasing people. <laughs> uh, no, it's on the show. I'm playing, oh, oh, I see. Yeah, I'm on the show. Yeah. No. Uh, what about House of Pie? Has ever been there? I've never been there. I'd like to go. I oh, love a pie. It's, it's, a, it's a wonderland of pies. Oh, yeah, I love a pie. <laughs> Do you like meat pies? 
I don't want meat in my pie. That's a really English, that's a really, like, you guys, Scottish. I don't get it. Mary. Mary, I've known you for a long time. Uh, and you do like meat in your pie. You can't encourage that. You shouldn't encourage that. You encourage what? You. <laughs> I think it is time for you to go. Oh, is it? Yeah. Maybe it is. We gotta go. Mary McCormack, everybody. The top team in the country, Alabama. At the one. Battles Missouri. Back for the...